Hi guys, this is the Edelreich Spock um, pulley with a backstop to it. So it's pretty much like the Petzl traction. The micro traction would be the most equivalent to it. So this is actually the, it's smaller um, than the other one and lighter. So it comes on the, I've taken the cable ties off, it was tied to, so it just comes with a little uh, lip flyer telling you about it. Um, the unit itself and then the description and then the, the kind of safety unit um, information what you can shoot and shouldn't do um, So yeah, it's 60 gram. So it's actually lighter than the equivalent one which is from the micro traction, which is 80 gram um, The other nice thing about it is this one goes a rope diameter 7 to 11 and the pedestal equivalent does 8 to 11. So this one is slightly better in that aspect and the main thing, it is lighter as well, which is nice. Um, the pet one I think is 85 and there's a 60, so you're saving a bit of weight. Um, it's got a large hole here to allow the carabiner, the actually screw bit to fit through it. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, not much to it, the little unit, it's got a, the kind of ball bearing in there. The pulley at the bottom and then the backstop thing here, you can see the little teeth that will grip the rope. Um, so to put it on, you just slide that down, you can pull it open put the rope in make that put the carabiner through it and then you can release that if you went if you if you want to if you don't want to depending if you want to pull it or not um it's, it's not much to it it's very simply made but very good it, it's pretty much the same facts about 15 kilonewtons um load you can take before it breaks which is the same as the other ones um but yeah the nice thing is it is lighter not much but a little bit but two-thirds of the weight and it can take a slightly smaller rope. However, I am i don't know how good it is in the big rope because I think it will start actually hitting the sides. It's got, it's got these little, so the way you put it open is, um, it's got a little string which comes out there. That kind of goes through there around the back and it's just tight there. So you can actually remove it if you wanted to, which don't know why you would. If you're scared, if you're not using it, you know, if you're only ever going to use it as a, as a backstopper when you're soloing or something, you might not want this on the on the off chunks. It can somehow get caught, which I don't know why it would. Because if I move this, if the rope moves it, it doesn't really move the rope at the top. It just moves, you know, the rope is slacky. It doesn't really change much up there. Um, however, you can just pull it. So the way you open it, you pull it, and then you just lock it off up the way. So then it's locked. And to undo it, you just pull it down. And let it go and it, you can there you can see it it moves so a nice little device um and i'm just going to show you so here's a carabiner so it, it, it fits through it nicely and the nice thing is that hole is big enough that you can actually move around you can move you don't you don't sometimes the hole is too small and you get to there and you can't you have to go the other way which is annoying because depending on where your ropes and how many ropes you have and how, what you're sorting and um, it does actually say um, on the back of here that you shouldn't, the carabiners, there you go, the carabiners you should use um, an oval shaped or pear shaped, not a, an angled one in the way. And the reason is that, and it's hanging at the bottom and the weight goes on it, you want the kind of weight acting on both sides of the metal. If you had a sloped carabiner and you put it on and you were to put it down, you can see it's, 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 it's not, it's sitting in an angle now. So. It, you know, if I put it down straight, it's, it would do that. And then all the load is on one side, not, not spread between the two. So therefore they recommend uh, something that's straight along the bottom, or at least it's perfectly round. So it distributes the weight to both, both sides. But yeah, nice little thing, big enough and uh, uh, easy. So I will get a bit of rope and I will see how well it performs with the rope. So I just got uh, my my training rope for tying knots and just to show you how easy it is to put on. So I'm just going to open it up, lock it, slide it open, put the rope in it and you even show you there which way it would stop. I mean it makes sense because it's pulling that way but yeah you put in, slide that shut, get the carabiner through it and then right now it's pretty much just a pulley and you can see you know that it turns quite easily. And then I'm just going to undo this and let it lock. So now I can pull it easily one way, but I put it the other way. The, the little teeth you can see there start digging into the rope. So if I pull that way, it's fine. If I pull that way, they start locking up.
So yeah, I'm impressed with it so far, and I'll be taking that as part of my crevasse rescue kit to Chamonix later on. But I like the fact that it's even lighter. So to save up a little, I know it's not much, but it adds up another 25 gram of the of the weight, and uh, it'll add up to a lot by the time I've, I've, I've finished my my little upgrades. So yeah, one annoying thing for me is that I quite often I I, I would prefer this side to slide open because I you know I normally hold it, do that, and then use the, my my right hand to put the rope in. However, I'd have to do it this way, and then to put the to put the rope in, which the way I normally work, it just seems just feels like the wrong way. But that's just my personal preference um, of opening and and operating it. But yeah, I don't know why. To be honest. But yeah, nice little uh, device and definitely worth considering if you're looking at the if you're looking at the pulley with the backstop on it like this or like the the pedestal traction or the, the micro one even which is similar to that one. So yeah, nice little thing. Yeah, there you go. And remember, guys, if you like the review, um, please subscribe, and I'll I'll make sure to load up a few more videos soon. And um, most of the, the new ones I have now are just trying to get the more, the lightest equipment I can get, just to, sit, to kind of go lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, the other ones I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, where again it's not it's not much, but it, it does add up. So I think. You know the new harness is 80 gram. This is 60 grams, and so now my harness and my age together 140. Um, so yeah, it, it does add up quite quickly, and I think I'll, I'll get my my day packed down to a bare minimum very soon, which will only be a couple of kilos instead of several kilos. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, please remember to subscribe.